Tuesday, January 12th. And first item on the agenda is to review and approve minutes of the December 8th <clears throat> meeting. I'll move we accept them as Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, warrant. It's warrants. Or maybe. Yeah. You want to start with the general one? I just had a question. Um, the check to the Baptist Church, 4000 That was um, they, that, that was a refund. Um, they had some digging done, and so they have to give us a oh, deposit. Right and uh, yeah, it was a year ago. Oh, okay. So we're it's, in the road. It's the bond on the road. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So right. that's just giving them their money back. We're giving them yeah. their money okay. back. Okay. Yeah. And I had one on, <clears throat> just because of the heading on it, Vermont Recreational re uh, Surfacing. <laughs> that was or, something normative to the roads. And I can tell you exactly what it was. Okay, but it doesn't. It's not a park and rec thing. Um, Sounds like it, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I was wondering if it had anything to do with the vandalism and, and cleaning or something. You know, I, I, <clears throat> hope, I hope not that okay. much. Okay. Yeah, no, that's why the, the number was kind of. Oh, it was for the accident site on Water Street. Removed existing damage. Trinity had and disposed of supplied, and installed one new fleet end system. And oh, I, but we got money for that. Yep. That was so. That was the uh, guardrail that was Corner damaged. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. College. Yeah, we yep. put some at college. If you notice, it's got some shiny yep. guardrail on it. And Aren't you want to see it? so that was a. Oh, no, that's okay. It was more whether it was something I had to be concerned of with park money. <laughs> if I wasn't yeah, going to get, or if it was. <laughs> but nope, that's fine. Thank you. <clears throat> um, if there are no further comments. I'll entertain a motion to adopt. A, I move we accept the uh, warrant for January with the amount of $39,364.81. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Payroll warrant. Nice small numbers on these warrants. Mm -hmm. I will move to accept the payroll warrant. Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, it is time for citizen comments. Mr. Perry, you've got, yeah, got some. <laughs> uh, so, uh, thank you guys. Um, so, uh, I'm representing the Vermont Arts Exchange tonight, along with. Grady Pendleberry from the sixth grade. Great. Hi, Grady. Um, and um, we are um, we're looking for approval to actually make a, a, a more proper proposal, but we want to make sure we're on the right track. And also, you might have some comments that might affect the proposal. So mm -hmm. we, uh, we're working with the sixth grade on a uh, on a project, a community kind of community art 101 class. The objective and the goal is to observe the natural and urban landscape of our school and our community, to identify issues, challenges, or situations that may hold a negative or visually unappealing, to address these challenges by smart design and creative collaboration with the property owner, to embellish, enhance, or build to transform something ugly to something beautiful, to give function or to something non-functional, to showcase the creativity of our younger residents who show pride in the community. So, one example that we're doing that we're going to show you, because it's in the middle of being proposed to the school, mm -hmm. is you can give them that. And some of you may recognize that. <laughs> the thing outside the school is a, it's a pump down in the ground, and it's the cement shed lid. Okay? And so we came up with this idea. We're going to uh, get pressure treated wood and build a frame. And we're going to make a top. There's going to be a game board that will be attached to it. And it'll be easy enough that two people okay. or Jim or that can pick it up. Jimmy, yeah. Pick it up and yes. remove it, which is very rare, but they do need to get in and check that if the light goes on. Yeah. And then it'll be, we have these 
for the guys there. You'd be able to <laughs> walk up and kneel, or you could sit. You should have it so it's hand You could sit, but the, and then they play checkers. Fantastic. And the, the checkers <laughs> will be cut wood, dried wood, logs, and stained. They'll be underneath this so that people can play all the time. And then we'll have a box inside because somebody right. Somebody's going to use them. To... Yeah. You think they're going to get lost? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We're going to see. I mean, we thought about. We, we, they ask all kinds of questions, knowing being kids. How high up will this be? Um, Off the ground. Look at the piece there. So you're just. Yeah, it's I just mean, going to clear it. Just clear it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to yeah, be. So it's it's going to be, be close to the ground. It's be Ten about inches. This high. Ten. Okay. Yeah, it'll just be about this high, so you'll be able to bend over and, All right. and sit on it, too. We sit thought on. about a bench. And the bench I did didn't really work out because it's too big. Yeah. 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 You know, it is a fantastic idea. Yeah, so, yeah thinking about that, they had other ideas, but this is one that we decided on. Will this so be a plywood? A, a, a... No, it's going to be pressure treated. And actually, the, the boards we're looking at trying to get like a six inch might or four inch might be the actual squares. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, so, so you so, good, right. Yeah, so so the, the board will be a width of a square yeah, and you can. Yeah, we're, we're hoping to try to line that up. So that's that. That's very cool. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, put the back. <laughs> so now this is going to be an ongoing thing with the school? Well, we we'll see. Yeah, I think it could be. This, there's enough sort of light out there here and there that, that you know. Um, so you're looking to deal more with commercial type properties or? Well, we've walked That's around kind of the Do you have some blight somewhere? Well, I know some blight. the village and, and, and looked at different things. Yep. And we, we found one that, That's one really example, good. and, and Brady will, will read about that. Okay, this is one that, and actually you're the, the village is the owner of this. Yeah, so. it's, it's our own blight. Yeah. yeah. It's, our own blight. <laughs> it's not really blight. But. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Right, to make some? Start off with, with the project. Uh, project village, election meter, no parking sign structure. Location, corner of Hutton Lane and Route 67A. Village, property owner, village of North Bennington. Description, to make attractive the ugly wooden structure designed to hold an electric meter then used as a sign holder to create an even challenging by month changing by monthly perhaps living sculpture that reflects time or season through a design process which the village trustees roughly six through eight pacific designs will be scheduled the themes will revolve around year and related to seasons and events such as holidays. Example, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, springtime, summer, with electricity available at the structure site, light and movement could be considered. Very good. So, that is that is ugly. <laughs> no, it's not too bad, but it's, well, no, but but it's it, you know, and... Um, it was and kind of an emergency thing Norm we put said, up. I asked him about the, you know, I kind of ran, always run things by Norm, you know, first to make sure <laughs> go in the right direction and uh, and he's you know I said what's with the sign and he said well I had to go somewhere there so we just put it up there right. you know and he said he could take it down and put it but then that means another post and so we just thought well we'll leave it for now and, uh, and, and deal with no that. and this had to meet certain regulations by the lot. <coughs> it had to be so many feet off the ground and right and it couldn't be attached to a pole it had to and be its this, own structure is this, is this not only Juice in the tree lights, but also the fountain. Yeah, that's what I thought. They had to for some yeah, reason. Yeah, found that out today um, from you. Um, and of course, we would steer clear of the backside, which has yeah. got. Um, the meter. Right. We'll make sure to where the plug-in and the meter is still accessible, accessible, and you can still see the no parking sign. Yep. Yeah. So some of these. So that's basically you know where we're going. And these so are you. I'm sorry. So you would use that almost like a signboard. So where it's like you, a would, sign you could decorate it, it or put information on it. Yeah, I mean, it could even be a kiosk. It could become know, the town um, crier, you know, like right. put up. And we mentioned this to David earlier. He said, oh, well, that also would be in the sign. The village doesn't have a sign. And that's even another right. a welcome another sign. story, another, another issue to look at is where would be a good spot. Yeah. Um, that is a good spot, but maybe that's not the ideal thing. But... Um, one thing that came up about this idea was the bear, 
on the way to Manchester that's been on the side of the road for years that that property yeah. owner always dresses up. Right. right now, maybe the Santa, the, the red just, clothes just came north of the cheese house. Yeah, just yeah. by the cheese house, and they always are. And I actually look forward to always <laughs> make sure I look and see what what's on what he's wearing or you know something. But um, here's one idea for Earth Day. You want to show them that? You don't have to look this through this. Idea of for Earth Day, up the sides will be going vines with leaves, and then on the sign would be on the back. The sign would be a uh, stone. Um, foam, earth, and we'll try and paint the continents to their actual shape. Mm -hmm. Neat. That's so cool. it could be actually that could be grapevine with paper mache leaves, or right. you know something that's strong and sturdy. And um, but it also could be that the front could even be a mural. It could even be a piece of plywood that we just attach and come mm -hmm. off. Um, um, another one. Halloween. These these are considered as bat wings but they're gonna be made out of foam and they're 24 inches long by 13 inches high, wide. And the ghost is gonna be made out of foam and the pumpkin, we're not sure if it's gonna be foam or plywood, but most likely it's going to be foam and the spiders are gonna be foam. Neat. And then obviously Christmas, we went all out for decorating it with lights and then doing candy canes on the side, which could be plastic or foam. And then the little Santa hat. What's that on the top? Santa hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, how much we interfere with the sign, yeah. well, you know, we have to be careful, you know, yeah. with what, but. Well, right now, the only sign on it is the no parking, right? Yeah. And that, Which, could, be, that could be moved. Even, yeah, and even if sometimes, if it were impeded a little bit, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's still clear what it's saying in overall, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. People would probably notice it more. And these That's are, right. you know, <laughs> and from January to, you know, December, there's all kinds of things. So they're looking at, we're looking at what's doable in a schedule. And in the summertime, they're looking what's at- what's easy to take down and put back up. Right, like summer mm -hmm. might, in June, they might put up the summer and it might mm -hmm. stay. There might be a team that comes in July, you know, off school time and change it. But these would be like hits, really. Yeah. And on the deadline, this one gets swapped out. And, and since Norm's not here, they, you guys can store, store all those kits in our new, in our new shed over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll have a wing yeah. to put it all. But, uh, so you're saying it's on the summertime. So this is more of a, a school based through the village school. Yeah, the, the sixth school, grade not, this not year. necessarily through. And, yeah. Because that could also be something, I mean, if you're doing summer programs, it could shift from the school groups doing it to then in the summertime, maybe some of your. Yeah, your summer program. camp could do it. Yeah. yeah. The idea was that the sixth grade, you know, has this legacy piece that they want to leave yeah. behind. and. You know, they can, you know, and, and to look at it and see it. And um, we found that when the kids are involved in these projects, mm -hmm. that vandalism is down and that vandalism does occur. They're usually the first ones to know who might, have, might be involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, um, so, you know, this is just uh, the direction that we're thinking of going in. And of course, you know, before we go, we'd want to run it by you guys and, um, you know, the material. And if we're certainly using electricity or we're using a timer, you know, have to think around all those Insignificant. Things. Yeah. In terms yeah. of, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. so I, it's a, it's a fantastic idea. And, you know, I don't know if the power company would have something to say about it, but it's better to ask for forgiveness and permission, right. really. So I think if we steer clear and we're not using, you know. I don't see it. That, I don't see it as a problem. I think the power company's only concern would be that they can read their meter so they can charge us. It's kind of like your house. They've got the meter on there. Yeah, I don't think they have to read the meter anymore, right? I, I love that. They're all, oh, it's they're all smart, smart meters. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I don't think they would. I mean, it's just like when they put one on your house, they don't come in and tell you how to decorate your house. So this would, I mean, yeah. basically we could look at the the right. structure as right. our property and the only thing that belongs to them is the meter. Is, is this outlet there now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't for the tree, tree. For the Christmas tree. Oh, that's tree. right, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, certainly we'll look at all these. There's, you know, all different kinds of holidays yes. and they're going to pick kind of what Easter, they... Easter and then there's... And one year you might do Groundhog Day and the next year you do Valentine, you know, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So yeah, so is this something that you're obviously developing with this sixth, sixth grade class? Yeah, right. But that may certainly be an ongoing sixth grade mm -hmm. project to say, okay, this year you guys design. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, other, other yeah. classes. Other materials, we can use those. Right, things. right. Yeah. So is this going to be, I mean, what's your time frame on this? Are you going to be doing this for pretty much all year, working well, on different we're designs. Gonna be, we're gonna be doing it's it's gonna take a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, well, we have time, we have 
Yeah. But we're, we're hoping to, you know, uh, make more of the presentation to the school and stuff is, that we want to show people is, is going to be in developing these drawings more. And maybe making the small models because they're, yeah. they're real. You can really yeah. tangibly yeah. get yeah. an idea. Yep. Um, Which is a great exercise for the kids anyway. Yeah. Model. And also at the same time, looking at other things like this because, and there are some at the school, there's some of those tanks on the new lawn. That we yeah. just in the field or, where it was yeah. used to be right pavement, outside. it yeah. is um there's three cement drains in there. Yep, right. Mm -hmm. And then a, and the like whole, 20 and feet, there's a crate drain. And they're dangerous too, kind of. They're sharp and, yeah. Yeah. and uh, cement, so it's you know, so keep an eye out. You know, we're doing more service kind of things. Like we've made all these signs for the school. Like when you come in now, it shows where the cafeteria is going, where the office is, so that. Someone comes mm -hmm. in and knows which way to go mm -hmm. and nurse mm -hmm. and gym and now what class did that? That's the first grade. Did that. First grade? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They drew on the wood and, and then we wood burned them and so uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I, we'll be back. Yeah. I I would just challenge you to be inclusive in your holidays as well. We are, we are. I mean uh <laughs> point around the yeah. holiday time and it might be that it's yeah. a potpourri. Yeah. I mean, we have Kwanzaa down here, and we have, you know, uh, right. Hanukkah. Uh, uh, Hanukkah, and uh, first day of Hanukkah. And, uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so there is some trickiness. You can use those yeah. right. Yeah. Being inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And the fact you're changing it allows you to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super. That's great. Great work. Just. Yeah. You could keep it up. Keep the juices flowing. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, treasurer's report. These are where we are with our um, cash balances right now. Um, there does not look to be anything that is amiss or concerning. You will note that the truck reserve fund is um, down significantly because we used the we purchased the new truck outright uh, for reserve fund. So that's about the only thing to note on here. Other things I wanted to bring to your attention is that we will have the W2s and the cat and the 1099s out um, probably by the end of the next week. If anyone wanted to take a look at a draft of that, please let me know and I'll be happy to send it over for your review. And uh, honestly, then the only other point of business on my agenda is to uh, get together with the trustees and do a final budget meeting. <coughs> and, and we would want, yeah, so what do you think? What do you, well, I kind of agree with you that, you know, if we could Bye, get, Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. We could maybe even get a Saturday morning or sometimes that's even better than an evening or a Sunday or Sunday. Yeah, yeah, no, we've done, no, we've done, we've done, we've done the past few years on Saturday morning. This, you know, this Saturday coming up will not work for me. Well, yeah. this is the festival. Oh, we could just yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I yeah. Here. Oh. so I don't Is know it too late to wait till the following Saturday? Uh, no, but that's pushing. We need. We would need to complete it then. Yeah. Yeah. Because and as long as we could get. It's the twenty third. So yeah, I would. Need when do you? When is What's your drop dead? I need to at the end of the month. Okay. Well. For it, printing, you mean? Yeah, I need to okay. get it to the printers. Okay. Well, the the um, the audit for the water department is not even scheduled until that last week. It's scheduled until the twenty fifth. So that will be done the first week of February. If we have this the first week of February, um, go through this every year. I know. <laughs> every year. Um, well, let me well, check my calendar, make sure I'm not off something. Um, oh, I'm sure you're right. And could, our, and no, our if we, if we, earlier this year. If we, could, if, we, if we could do this on the 23rd, it's, that's not a problem. Okay. okay. No, I'm that'd be great. Okay, okay, good. Do our part, but you're not going to still have the yeah. part that she needs for the right. And what happens, Mary, with that is I get everything. Mm -hmm. Usually, I even have the water department's um, own budget and right. their own report. You'll have all of that. 
they bring Sorry. up, they have to deliver that to Manchester themselves. Which is the audit. Just, and what what date is the, is the annual meeting this the year? 15th. 15th of March. Yeah. It's, it's almost a week early. Sometimes it's on the 21st. Yeah. It's as early yeah. as it can be, really. It's just one week after the, uh, the, the vote. So. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, I would say, at least for us, that worked. So, me. yeah, if we, could, if we could plan to do it on the 23rd, that would be great. Just tell me the time. Um, Do you want do you want a nine to eleven or a ten to twelve? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm up at five. So. Either one. <laughs> well, Mark uh, can come in and turn the heat. Yeah, I can turn the heat. <laughs> uh, nine is fine with me. Nine. Yeah. And from the sound of it, it's nine until we're done because we've got to get it. It is. So, but I don't I don't really see any real. I think it's pretty I, straightforward. I thanks to. Couldn't think it would take that long. I did send out what. Yep. Kind of what's a preliminary, and then I put a few question marks and things in there. Uh, anybody can send comments, and we can go back and forth on that, and I can tweak it a bit before then. Okay. Um, any other questions for Mary? Um, we'll deal with all this, all the, you know, all the minutiae of this. You going to put a number in for VAE? They, uh, there's no number. The request is five. Left, oh, okay. I left the line there because my, the notes that I had said that we had talked about it, but I didn't uh, have a specific figure in mind. But I'll put that in just for a draft. So. Um, but actually, did we not discern that that wouldn't even go in? It doesn't go into our calculation of... That's no, right. it doesn't because, because they haven't not. been approved right. until well, so that would be in this budget. Right. impact on the, on the overall okay. tax rate. So right, so that would be the similar thing but, and, well, no, the we for the lake because the lake the has lake a lake the other and, and even um, you know, the library increase, we could, the library could present their case to... If did, that's needed. Did we warn that? No, because th th we don't do that. Right. Um, they've, in the, they've been on if within they our budget request, for so right. long that when they request, it's your decision. Yeah, I think we said that would just okay. be part of the, um, it would just be an increase. And, right. Uh, so that one would calculate into our budget prior to the vote. And Mary, on the, uh, your variances, yeah. The variance on the total looks a little strange. The, the very bottom line? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the very bottom 68. line of it. 68, but it went from 451 to 494, but that's not 68. No. The bottom line? Let me do it off. I might have missed the picking up a cell. Thank you. Well, yeah. I'll verify that. that. Yeah, because the other numbers, all the numbers seem so to correlate, but that one doesn't. I don't know. Yeah. So if the total is too low or last year's is wrong or... No, I think the 68 part is the correct one. So the total... The, the 494. The, to, the 494 maybe. The 494 is the one that's missing something. Okay. okay. And then we can discuss all we the components it, yeah. individually. Yeah. Um, okay. So are we we're all set for you with you, Mary? Mm -hmm. Okay. Highway, Norm uh, bound out because he might be out tonight. Um, the only thing we know, uh, <coughs> David and Norm that um, yesterday, Tuesday, no, Monday, just, Monday, right? Yeah, was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tuesday, right? Um, <laughs> it did seem like forever ago. Uh, with um, the engineer who's doing the work on uh, 
the retaining wall of, of uh, on Route 67A that is going to have to be dealt with. Um, and we signed off on that as a right. preliminary. Yeah, we, we got we got past the first hurdle, which uh, they were giving us a hard. This is the historic preservation group. And they were giving us a really hard time. And so Jason was smart. He says, come down and look at this. I mean, yes, we could fix this and put it back just the way it was, and it probably cost five or six million dollars. <laughs> or we could, put a, we could put the bank in, which is exactly what they did at the upper end of the wall way back. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's all covered with myrtle and trees and everything. Mm -hmm. or, and so, or you could do this, which they did some time ago. And for maybe two hundred thousand dollars instead of come million. So, I mean, she saw the point, and I said, on top of that, like fifteen years ago, they put in this this concrete block wall. The state did that. Now, talk about something that's not historic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if they put in a bank, it would have been much more attractive. And so it's not like she's fully understand. No, she 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 was. It's, she once she saw once she saw it, I said, yeah, right. Sees it and, no, she saw the, and the only thing that uh, we, there was any question about is this, that little sluiceway that runs beside the wall. We have kind of like a peninsula. Yeah. And they would like to preserve some resemblance of that. So maybe it'll be making a new channel mm -hmm. with the you know, laid up stones yeah. to, to maintain that little sluiceway, which mm -hmm. I don't see the need of it, but they thought that would and to satisfy, satisfy, satisfy everybody that's, because uh, okay. we still have to get by the, uh, the next big thing the is water. the flood. Okay. And we have Army to, of that. Yeah. no, we have to do it. And it's going to cost, oh, he has to do it for it. Well, it's yeah. going to cost roughly $10,000 to do the analysis because they haven't finished the floodplain work yet. And so there's, they have to, we have to develop what would have been the Corps of Engineers' work. But we can't go forward until we do it, so there isn't much choice. Now, the Corps of Engineers may not get to it for another but five that's or six covered, years. That's covered within the, right now, the, the grant. We have, we have, we wrote a grant for uh, 49000 and to date we've only spent like thirteen. And he's expecting another thirty or so thousand to complete the rest of the work. So we're we're well within the budget. To Keep in mind that's the rest of the preliminary work, not the actual work. Right. That's, that's just the just just the design. And do we? Is that just a is that a freebie grant or is there a matching or it's a match? So yeah. We, so of the fifty, what do we spend? Match. And the okay. fifty was been ten. And then the. Uh, the, dead, the deadline for the final grant for the construction grant is, I think it's the first week of May sometime. So we've, we'd like to get all the design work done. And we've been fortunate that we haven't had bad weather because they have to go down there and they have to actually take the topography of the whole to area. Full profiles, yeah. Um. Which, you know, and, and they, have, they also have to do an analysis of the pond to see how this, what the sediment is. So they have to go out in the pond and measure how deep it is all over. So if it had frozen over, we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it's going ahead, and uh, Jason's written it up in two parts. So if we reach a snag, we're not committed to the second part of the field. The other thing that uh, we all met yesterday was with uh, BCRC, uh, Jim Sullivan, regarding uh, these grants that are out there and uh, looks like very little layout of cash from us or even none, if there's these other potential um, grants that can add on to it, is to put in a, an electric car charge station here at the depot. Um, Turning out that this is kind of showing to be a good little economic development piece that mm -hmm. people will drive down from Manchester or Peru or you know up in the mountains for a day to go to Kevin's or mm -hmm. Pangea or just come to town. I know Bennington has at least three of them now, um, and so people will come come to town, mm -hmm. plug their car in, go to dinner, go to a movie, whatever, come back, and I think within five years. We'll be putting more of them in. There's, there's, there's going to be many no, more plugins. 
There's very, very few in the southern part of the state. There's a lot going in around Montpelier and Burlington. Sure. But I think there's, there's the one in Bennington behind the old... Uh, well, there's three, the I think, but it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a location. And then there's, there's three at uh, in Manchester. In Manchester, and that's the only ones... Yeah. So our, the three in Bennington are at the same location, right? There are three stations at that one location. So it's three at one blue location. Yeah. Right, right. Well, it's the where the... Uh, transit office. Uh, transit yeah. Office. Right behind the park where the fountain is. Oh, oh. then there are two then. Because yeah. it's another one station the, by... Is, the, is it it's Red a transit Cross? station. Yeah, right across the yeah. by yeah. the tutorial yeah. center. Yeah. There's one in the corner of the old bank parking lot and all that. Right. In yeah. the, where they have the buses. Yeah. There, there is one. I know there's one there. Yeah. But I think it says something for the village to have that. that it's a, you know, we're welcoming people. Mm -hmm. And there is grant money available to pay for it. And it doesn't cost us... Uh, well, it does. It costs it, us something for the, but, but the, for the electricity. There's well, no, there's a monthly fee, too. We have a fee? It's, it's not about seventy dollars Yeah, and, it, and that's true for both the tests. Did y'all decide you're going to go with the one and not the other? Yes. Yeah, right. the one that's more versatile, which right. can have an yeah. adapter for Tesla. And right. for, uh, but then Norm just found the days they might be some other additional money to help. Yeah, the, yeah there was a, yeah, Jim sent us a thing. There is money uh, grants available. And the, I think the deadline is, is the 4th of April. And it looks like it'd be fairly simple, but the cost to install it isn't going to be very much. If, if it looks like there is um, a conduit already installed at the post out there, that there's nothing in. So when they were doing that, they put in an extra pipe. I mean, we're assuming it comes into the building. To the building. To the building. Yeah. So we could, all we'd have to do is run a wire, which would be you know minimum cost. That's good to know too. If we think about putting. And power it, on these it. grants. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, I was thinking maybe we could use this grant for some other place, but it would have to be on village property. So that it would have to be someplace like the firehouse I was if we this, wanted to do some of the other end of town. Yeah, I mean, I don't want, I don't want to pollute the whole area with these things. I think a, no, a, I don't a nice either. parking like this would be yeah. better. I mean, you could and I'd rather one. have them consolidated here. That's right. Yeah. Well, this is a more recognizable parking yeah. area and more I think if I were coming into town, I, this is where I'd look for one. Yeah. At the, at the village yeah. offices. Sure. Yeah. yeah. No. Exactly. And I think that's what keep on parking for them. And there's another uh, another thing I wanted to bring up. The uh, the Better Back Roads Grant Program has changed, and they changed the name to Better Roads Grants. This is uh, so now. It used to be it was only dirt roads. This is to to uh, actually for culverts and that sort of thing to to uh, direct the water properly. And now they've changed that. It can be any road, whether it's whether it's a gravel road or a blacktop road. And the grant uh, money has increased from twenty to forty thousand dollars max. And these are particular criteria. The types of things you can fund have gone up too. Right? Yes, it's, right. It's, they get they've added. Broader. It's much broader. And it's I think it's one of the best grant programs that for us because they do allow you to. You, have in in kind match is a twenty percent match, but everything that Norm does. So all the ones we've done before, we haven't had to pay anything out of pocket. He did that. He did the culvert on Park Street. Yeah, uh, which was a big one, and, and maybe the ones on. So anyway, so I think this is we should get Norm and make sure he's thinking about where he wants to do this. Mm -hmm. And working with the, the people you work with are very nice. I mean, they they very cooperative. Any question you've got, they get right back to you. And uh, so I know so he was on the, the intersection qualify. Right. So wh <laughs> whoever is going to be writing grants next month, you. <laughs> next <laughs> month. Next month, you. Well, well, next month. But this is April, so I won't be here. Well, we know where to find you. <laughs> <laughs> um, David, thanks so much for all that. Uh, anything else, Highway? Questions, concerns? We obviously have been saving quite a bit of money, I think, uh, overall on salt and fuel this year. Um, Over time. A few years ago, we were paying twice as much for fuel and using twice as much of it. Mm -hmm. to, uh, so that's going to be nice. I think we all are that way with our home heating oil. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
No, it, it, it scared us into doing the right thing <laughs> with preserving it now. Now we're getting a double whammy. Yeah. yeah. Um, DRV, I don't know of anything. Well, we want to um, approve a new member. Oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a snafu. Uh, last month, we appointed a fellow who had an interest in being on, on the DRV. Um, and we also had spoken to another fellow who would, had an interest in that. And since turned out that because there's going to be an opening on, the, on our trustee board, um, because David is going to step down, which makes us all very sad. Um, but there is a fellow in town, the one we appointed to the DRB, who, who expressed an interest in maybe going ahead and running for uh, a, a seat on this board, which left open the DRB position for the fellow who really wanted the position, and a fellow <laughs> would be uh, really good at it. So uh, I guess what I want to do is nominate I'll nominate Dennis McCarthy for the um, DRB. Um, and I just will mention, although I in told him I thought it would be fine for him to con maintain his auditor's position, that he really feels that his, the, the amount of time that he has would be um, better a better than position, the yeah. The DRB. So, so we lose an auditor. So we will we'll be looking for a new another auditor two or two. Now, isn't it true that I mean, does does he understand that the time? I think he he just feels is not very much, or oh, he I just know. prefers to be at I one. He, he, I think one his preference was he so, had expressed a preference even before I approached but him about being the on the DRB doesn't prevent him from being an auditor, right? No, it does not. It does not. But it he doesn't. Want to do but it. he doesn't. But so. that's his preference. And prerogative. Mm -hmm. um, yes, right. So, you second the nomination? I will second that nomination. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Dennis was the uh, town manager for many years in Shaftesbury, um, then was the town manager in Windhall mm -hmm. um, for another many years, and, and retired and moved into town, into the village. Back to the village. Back to the village. He grew up on McCarthy Acre. McCarthy. Acres Road, I presume. Yeah, he um, did at the end. At Left the end house on the right. right. So, yeah. so well, yes, and we solved that one problem. Fire department, anything? Oh, well, we did get finally, um, we got the power company to put a light at the fire department. Mm -hmm. um, it is it, it burns um, as someone said the, the fires of a thousand suns, <laughs> but it's, uh, uh, it really I think is perfect. It that lot I know a lot of people who work late and I know this this all kind of started when uh, Bridget when a light that was there went out that belonged to the firehouse it was just a motion active thing and, and that parking lot was uh, very dark and pretty sketchy so. This just looks nice. I was afraid it might be blasting into the tenants on the second floor of either the power building or the, or the uh, Tim Smith's building. Okay. If we hear anything about that, we can look into getting it further shrouded or or reduce the, the launch. So this is a full time off, right? Or is it a motion sensor? It's a night, it's, it's a street light. Okay, so, so it goes it on goes at a certain hour and turns off at a certain hour. Yeah. I'll try to take a look at it. I think if you have any concerns or questions about it. And I don't know if they dealt with the one that we approved for them to put down on Water Street at um, at the apartments down there or not. And I'll check in on that, see if we've done that. But um, it's not really the fire department, but it was at the fire department. Water board. Okay. New business. Nothing. No. No. Old business? I just want to mention a uh, couple of things. One is I've been working with Allison at the uh, BCRC um, to schedule a meeting at the end of this month for the hazard mitigation grant work. <laughs> so we have a committee. And um, 
also, uh, last month I reported on um, my meeting with Tim Corcoran Jr. about the charter changes. I've also um, been in touch with Dick Sears and Brian Campion, who are both uh, uh, on board, certainly, mm -hmm. in terms of moving it forward when it gets to the Senate. So I think we've positioned ourselves, and hopefully it moves smoothly. Yeah. So right. probably not going to. Not won't by be March fifteenth. Right. <laughs> so we have to stick with the one and two year I, terms. I think so. I'd be surprised if March because yeah. yeah. the yeah. governor For has to year. sign it too in right. a little bit. They're a little bit trying to figure They've it out. Got, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Other old. Uh, well, I don't think we even have. I don't think we have any for executive. I hope the audience uh, noticed our new furniture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> quite the credenza. Yes. <laughs> now, before everybody, it, it looks like this is a, Yeah. It looks like we spent two, three thousand dollars on this, but actually, Norm got it through uh, the. Uh, the sources. <laughs> the sources. No, there was surplus. And in. an additional. Yeah, all the stuff plus a whole uh, room full. huge locked file cabinet. Yeah, yeah. beautiful yeah. cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so the, the whole deal, all the furniture together was $100. <laughs> so he, I'm going to have him furnish my house. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a comfortable desk. It looks a little better than 1940s uh, MASH military green, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So 